For since he himself suffered when he was tempted, he is able to help those who are also tempted. The Epistle to the Hebrews, chapter 2, verse 18. It is a commonplace thought, and yet it tastes like nectar to the weary heart. Jesus was tempted just as I am. You have heard that truth many times, I am quite sure. But have you grasped it? He was tempted with very much the same sins into which we fall. So do not associate Jesus from our common manhood. It is a dark room through which you are walking. But Jesus walked it before. It is a sharp fight you are waging. But Jesus has stood foot to foot with the same enemy. So let us be of good cheer. Christ has carried the load before us and the blood-stained footsteps of the King of Glory may be seen along the road which we traverse at this very hour. But there is something sweeter yet. Jesus was tempted, but Jesus never sinned. Then, my soul, it is not necessary for you to sin either. For Jesus was a man And if one man can endure these temptations and sin not, then in his power his members may also desist from sin. Some beginners in the divine life think they cannot be tempted without sin, but they make a mistake. For there is no sin in being tempted, but there is sin in yielding to that temptation. In this lies comfort for the sorely tempted ones. There is still more to encourage them if they reflect that the Lord Jesus, though tempted, triumphed in glory, and as he overcame, so surely shall his followers also. For Jesus is the representative man for his people. The head has triumphed, and now the members may share in the victory. Fears are needless, for Christ is with us, armed for our defence. Our place of safety is the bosom of the Saviour. Perhaps we are tempted just now in order to drive us nearer to him. Blessed be any wind that blows us into the port of our Saviour's love. Happy wounds which make us seek the beloved physician. You tempted ones, come to your tempted Saviour, for he can touch with the feeling of your infirmities and will succour every tried and tempted one of you. Amen.